have moved on to a wider horizon uh, from service to river states to service to the country. And for me, it's a new and exciting experience. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to uh, thank President and Commander in Chief Armed Forces. Federal Republic of Nigeria President Bolak, Mekutinibu, GCFR, for finding me worthy of the position. I would also want to thank my leader, Chief Barrister Yeson, Ezeon Wike, the Minister of FCT, for nominating me. Yes, um, ever since my appointment, we started work. And we intend to do things differently in line with the renewed group agenda. We'll hit the ground running. In fact, in a matter of four weeks, our strategic action plan is ready. As I speak to you, we are almost completing the process of the preparation of even our 25, 2025 uh, uh, projects. Lots of collaborations are going on. And I can tell you, we are going to turn the lives of the border community to a lot around. Um, the BCDA covers over 3,000 border communities spread across 21 states in Nigeria and 105 local government areas in Nigeria. You know, and uh, these border communities have their peculiar problems. Some of them have the problem of access. Some of them they have the problem of basic amenities. Some of them have to depend on neighboring communities in neighboring countries that share the same culture and affinity with them for basic amenities. And that is dangerous because we we'll begin to lose their loyalty. Remember, they are like a gateway to the country because they are located at the fringes of the country. And so in terms of security, in terms of intelligence gathering, we need their loyalty. And to get that, we also need to provide them with the basic amenities um, that they need. That was the contemplation of the act establishing um, the agency. You know, going forward, we intend to uh, do all that we can to strengthen, uh, you know, the uh, the legal and legislative framework in establishing the agency, so that we we'll position ourselves in a way that and reach out to the border community dwellers more. They will feel our impact more. But I can tell you, in this tenure of uh, President Tinibu's renewed home agenda, border communities of Nigeria will feel the impact and the, uh, the presence of federal government, you know, better than ever before. Okay, so talking on uh, issues that concern uh, uh, federal government and coming back to your to your hometown in River State, right now, you just left some, some fields back. Uh, there, there have been these estimations that. Uh, Sorry, uh, can, can we have a follow up on that? Yes, I wanted to. I wanted to. It, it will not be out of place uh, for us to find out from you. Uh, I haven't just uh, got into office some of the challenges that you. What are the things you've experienced uh, first hand in office? And uh, I know you must, have, you must have taken time to go around the country and um, find out one or two areas of interest that uh, conflicts that communities, state and all that are having. I just want to find out from you, to what extent uh, so far you've been able to attend to them and the plans you are having to making sure that um, some of these great areas, interstate and even at community levels, are attended to. Okay, uh, let me add this too. How did you meet the board? Because you said something that you are moving you as you moved in, you are moving to a greater height. How did you meet that board and where it is today? You know, the question you just asked now is uh, multifaceted. Uh, like I said before, the BCD had been existing. You know, I was appointed to continue from where uh, the former heads of the agency stopped. And what we are trying to do now is to engineer the agency, you know, to attract more funding to the agency, you know, to move for amendment of laws where necessary. We we 
are appointed not to give excuses, but to bring solutions to problems, and that is exactly what we are doing. Irrespective of budgetary constraints, we are already making our impact felt in border communities. For instance, a few weeks ago, we got an emergency call from some communities in Ondo State where we had cholera outbreak in some uh, some uh, border communities. You know, we waste time. It was a weekend. We had to intervene very speedily, and uh, certain projects are going on there right now. And in, in three weeks or less, we will have delivered the. Uh, those projects. Those are the kind of speedy interventions we are going to be carrying out from time to time in vulnerable communities because they are our concern. You know that is uh, that is that is that is uh, the jurisdiction of our mandate. And so we must ensure the, the habits. You know much much better this time around. Oh, I'll, are you okay? How supportive is the uh, the uh, Mr. President to ensuring that your job is much easier? Are you achieving your goals? The president is supporting not just my agency, but every ministry and every agency and every MDA to ensure that they perform, to ensure that they are effective and efficient. Okay, uh, coming down to your home states, uh, you know, before you have this uh, conflict that uh, when a PDP president and a state governor that is in APC, you hardly attract a uh, uh, federal government presence uh, to the states. And now you are at, uh, at the federal, working with Mr. President, and there's been this situation that projects may not come to reverse the best on the battle lines, the governor and the presidency. How do you see Mr. President in this regard? I would say that uh, that question is a little bit off track, but I'll respond to it. I don't think there have been such insinuations. But as much as the state government here is doing their bit, I know that a lot of federal government projects are being attracted to River State. As I speak to you, some federal agencies are already carrying out some key developmental projects in some local governments in River State. At the right time, we'll list them out see them for yourselves when they're commissioned. And so federal government projects are being attracted to River State. For instance, the Federal Ministry of Works is carrying out three major flyovers at the same time on East West Road. One to be located at Akpajo, one to be located at Refinery Road, Refinery Junction, and one to be located at Onel Junction. At the same time, the whole stretch of that road from OME Junction to the Onel Junction is being rehabilitated. I think what they are doing there is a rigid or composite pavement, and so it's going to stand the test of the time. It's a huge project. And so you would uh, imagine the socioeconomic benefits once that project is completed. Various governments have passed. They were unable to do it. Yet that's like the industrial hub of River State in the South South. So I want to thank President Bola and Tinibu for making that project possible. That project is going to complement you know, the gains of various infrastructure projects put in place by the previous government in River State because they are interconnected. There are also several other projects going on by the intervention of some other federal government agencies. We'll disclose that to you as time proceeds. Okay. Uh